Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dragon Quest Builder. I built up my place a bit. Look, I put a little, little cute bath in here. I can even lay down in it, which is awesome. So yeah, I built up my base. Um, <laughs> didn't figure out what to ever do with that. I don't even know where I grabbed that from. Oh wow, there's a tower up there. Did we go up there? I can't remember. I think we did. And the other thing I did was build a little garden. A Cantlin garden with five grass and ten flowers, a brazier, and a bench. That's just one of the uh, achievements for this, so basically find a bit of water with eight, eight blocks in it. Make sure there's a tree inside, put down five grass that you grab with a shovel, ten flowers, a bench, a brazier, and you are good to go. I'm pretty sure we did everything else. I got a second fireplace from the pyramid. I went back and grabbed it. And the last thing that I forgot to do off screen is this cave over here had a seed of life in it. So you guys, if you're looking for something, there is one in that cave there. But let's, uh, let's continue. Let's continue on to the next chapter, because I think I've got basically everything. And we're gonna say goodbye to these guys and never see them again, unfortunately. Goodbye, ooh, egg. Goodbye washroom that I think is a very adorable and should be a main, main thing. Yep. I'm sad. I'm always sad to leave chapters. Doomed never to return. Such is the fate of a non-hero. The nice thing is, is that you don't have to worry about worrying what you'll take with you because it's basically nothing. You don't take a single thing with you on your next adventure. You start from scratch, except for the fact that you have your recipes with you. And I saved just beforehand, so it should be fine. Where is it? There it is. The light, robe of my child. The light you see before you is a portal to the next land. You must free from the Dragon Lord's curse. The, ide the items, the knowledge, and the strength that you have acquired in this place will not survive the journey. The moment you pass through this portal of light, you will lose everything. But robo, my child, should it still be your will to rid this world of darkness, I bid you step into this swirling vortex without fear or regret, and be safe in the knowledge that I do watch over you always. So yes, we're gonna do it. Are you sure you want to leave this land behind and travel to the next island? Yes, we do. As we... So, Robo, you are leaving us. I had a feeling this might happen. Could you not just stay a little longer to help us finish rebuilding Cantlin to its former glory? No, forget I said that. I was being selfish. Robo, my girl, you made me realize something. Restoring Cantlin to its former glory is not a matter of building walls and towers, but of building bonds of true friendship between our fellow townspeople. Wah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do it. No matter how grave the occasion, I just can't make speech as soppy as that. Go on, my girl, step into the light. There are many places in this world that need your help so far more than we do. Ah, I almost forgot something very important. There's something that Pippa insists that I give you. Though you may lose everything else on your way through the portal, if you clutch this gift tight enough, I'm sure it'll make it to your destination. Farewell, Robo. May we meet again someday. <laughs> Sniffle. Forty-six days.
Build your base to level five. Defeat three dragons. Build a Cantlin garden. And repair the Hammerhood graveyard. You can now view the challenges for each chapter. I will maybe someday go back to complete the chapter within 20 days, but I'm not worried about that one. Rimuladar. Rimuladar. Rimuladar has been locked. Yes, Terra Incognita, which is free build, has been unlocked. That might be fun to do later. Maybe I'll do some of that. Thank you very much, game. Let me continue. All right. Building my world, eh? Rimmeldar Meyer. I love the music for this one so much. My child, you have awoken. This is the next place that cries out for your help. Robo, the land of Rimmeldar. Long ago, the island you see before you was home to a prosperous city, surrounded by crystal clear water. But now, all has been corrupted by this blighted mire. The few survivors live in constant fear of dreadful disease. Here, my child, I offer this gift unto you. Green! A green raggedy rag. Head towards the light you see before you, Robo, and plant this banner of hope in the center of the ruins. All may seem strange to you at first, my child. The people you encounter here, the monsters you do battle with, even the new creations that you build. But I know that you will soon find your feet in this afflicted frontier. Now go, Robo. Head for that light. Let's do it. Frog stool. This is one of the things that we'll want. What's over there? It's green. Ooh, some clear water. We kept our club and giant mallet with us. And not much else. <laughs> Let's place the banner. A warm and soothing light spreads all around. My child, the people who inhibit, inhabit this blighted land have lost hope. They live in constant fear of the disease that stalks all who live here. Thanks to your efforts in Cantlin, my children are gradually regaining the power to build. However, the men and women of Rimmeldar have not the strength to resist this epidemic, and all have but surrendered to the sickness. Robo, it will not be long before the banner's light draw the survivor to this place. You must build a new town here and purify this polluted land. Do what you must to eradicate the blight by which it has been gripped. And now, my child, that I do watch over you always. And know that, my child, that I do watch over you always. All right, let's save. Oh, look. Hello there. Heavens above, I never expected to find a poor, ailing patient in a place like this. What's the matter with you, my lamb? Does your stomach hurt, or your chest, or rubus forbid, is there something wrong with your head? What? There isn't anything the matter with you at all? But if that's the case, whatever are you doing in a place like this? Mercy me, you're the builder? The one with the power to create? Did you make this flag too? If you really are the builder, then the great shepherdess in the sky must have guided you here. Truly, the goddess does watch over us always. My name's El. Please, my lamb, help me save this blighted land. Uh, yep, we can help. This entire island is infected by the blight. Some even say that all the sickness in Elfgard is concentrated here. I want to save this place. I want to heal each and every one of the poor souls afflicted by the illness. Will you help me, Robo? Will you join me in fighting back against the sickness that plagues this land? I'm sorry, you want to know what happened to my leg? What did happen to your leg? Something happened to it? 
It was my own silly fault, really. In my haste to reach the light that I saw shining down here, I tripped over it and injured myself. If I had some healing cream to rub on it, I'm sure it would get better right away. But I mustn't grumble after all. It's nothing compared to the suffering others endure. So we need to find some healing cream. Let's, uh... I do like that I have a hammer. That's pretty awesome. really want to like oh, of course all right oh yes that's not that's not uh wood let's uh let's fix this place up so it's Livable. She's gonna give us a new command soon, anyways. Let's go make a door. We can't make healing cream yet. Um, whoops. Straw door, saloon door, fencing. Let's make a. Uh, of course, I need one more. We'll just take you. Strador. Oh. I need one more stock. Oh my gosh. Because I can read. There we go. Alright. We've made ourselves a door. Bedroom. Can we make ourselves a cook fire? Cook fire. We need three stalks and a bonfire. We can totally do that. We're gonna want to eat at some point before not. We want to put a cook fire in. Right. Does it really require three? Does indeed. All right. And last thing, we'll make ourselves one more door here. Oh, there's another bonfire there. I could have used to. Which I probably will. Um, straw door. Let's grab this cook fire, or this, uh, bonfire. to make, last thing, a chest. Let's see if there's any more wood around that we can use. One. Two, three. We'll get her to start making stuff for us. While we're away, grabbing your stuff for her leg. Perfect. 
Anytime you want to start making us stuff to eat, my lovely. Alright, off in search of... Some flowers. Look at this guy. Sticky liquid. Oh, we can also take some of this too, actually. Cotton. And this is what we want for her leg. you, sir. Come back here, actually. Oops. Yeah, you run away. Oh, you. You are all... I forgot we are a little weaker, though. We're gonna have to watch out. No, let's let's not risk it. Probably a good idea. We can come back to this later. Once we've. Uh, Oh, look, we got one one piece of food from Pippa. I think that's what she was probably telling us to hold on to. What's this? Frog stool. We can, we can cook up some of that. Fried frog stool. Nice. And... We can make ourselves some healing creams. Yes, El. Yes, yes, yes. Goodness be praised. You've made a pot of healing cream just for me. Do you mind if I use it now? No. Thank you, Robo. May the Holy Mother above bless your kind soul. I've never seen anyone craft new items from raw material before. There's no doubt about it. You truly are the builder of legend. Oh, the goddess smile down upon this day. I beg you, Robo, use the powers that you've been blessed with to deliver this land from blight. Oh, wow. Branches! You shouldn't have. Robo, as I'm sure you've seen by now, this island is utterly engulfed by a poisonous swamp. Most of the people who used to live here succumb to its effects. Almost all of those who survived have contracted the blight, the suffer still. My lamb, I would like you to build me a sick room so that I might care for the afflicted. I've always dreamed of building a house of healing to aid those poor, suffering souls, and it seems that the great goddess has finally answered my prayers. Please, take this bl blueprint and build me a sick room of my dreams. You can totally do that. We will build it over here. Yeah. I don't think I can... Yeah. Well, of course. Do not hurt us. We do not have much of anything. Actually, I probably should sleep. That'll heal me. Alright. Full health. It's a good thing.
This should be good. I'm not entirely sure if this is the best place to build it, but eh, that should be okay. Far enough away from the monsters who come from that direction that we should be fine. I may cut to editing some of this. So that I do not... So I'm able to get some decent time in here. What do I need in here? Two beds, a fire, a wash tub, a pot plant. All right. Let's make a bonfire. Let's make a simple bed times two. Let's make a pot. Oh, we need <laughs> one more earth. And can we make a pot plant? I need pink petals. Where is would I find pink petals? I will have to go searching for those. We need a small table. Nice. Whoa. Buddy, you can't just come in here like that. It's not, not very nice. Um. Washed up. We need cord. Ah, we need to go on adventure. Is this the only one around here? Oh, one. Two, three. I don't want to take the other two in case I need them for something. Pot plant. We need a small table as well. Two more branches. We might actually have to go adventuring for some of these. What else did I need? Washed up. Cord. Two broken branches and a cord. I'm gonna use up all the wood here. Cord is easy enough to find. We were just climbing it recently. Our one. <laughs> there we go. We've got everything we need. And perfect timing, too. To make this gorgeous girl her sick room. Uh, cord. We need cord. Um, small table we have. Wash tub. 
Don't we have cord now? Oh, we can't grab it, that's why. Uh, discard for the moment. That went far. Look at how far that went. Okay. Small table. Potted plant. And... What was the last thing? Wash tub. Where'd it go? There it is. Bidding! Awesome. What do you think, El? Praise the goddesses, just as I always imagined. Thank you, my lamb. I don't know how I can possibly repay you. Robo, our lives are but fleeting things. There are many people who think it's pointless to struggle against this sickness. Many of those who fall ill do not believe that they have the strength to win their battles with the blight. They abandon all hope and wait for silence. Wait in silence for the almighty mother Rubus to collect them in her all-loving arms. But I have hope. I believe. I know these people have the strength and courage they need to emerge victorious. And now that you've built this, us this sick room, you and I can work together to free the great shepherdess's flock from the accursed blight. Well then, now that that's decided, let's... You will help me, won't you, Robin? Tell me you will. Alright guys, we will end it here for for this time around. We'll save. I hope you guys join me on the next episode. We will continue to help Elle. She looks like she's definitely in need of patience now. So we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye for now. <laughs>